The height of two men, the weight of four, the strength of sixteen! Sir Boris, finest swordsman in the world, and his brother, Sir Morris. Not the finest swordsman in the world, but the most enthusiastic. And their noble pets, Sir Horace the Dog <coughs> and Sir Doris the Hamster, the Big Knight! <coughs> Bedtime at Castle Big. Once upon a time, there lived a poor widow and her son, Jack. One cold winter's day, the mother said, Oh, Jack, we have precious little food left and no money. Don't worry, mother, said Jack. This morning I went to the market and swapped our only cow for a magic bean. Now we really are doomed. But Jack secretly planted the bean in the garden, and that very night, it grew into a mighty beanstalk. Jack said, I shall climb the beanstalk. And at the top, he found a giant's castle full of gold. Fee, fi, fo, fum. So Jack cut down the beanstalk, which fell with an enormous Crash! And Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> it is morning. Sir Boris awakes to find Sir Morris has gone. Taking the book and all of their savings. You never guess what I bought. Give me the bean. Incredible! How did you know? <sighs> the bean must have told you. It is magic. It is not magic. There are no such things as magic beans. Of course it's a magic bean. You don't think I'd pay that much money for an ordinary bean, do you? How much did you pay? A lot. So this is all the money we have left. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait for the bean to grow, then climb up the beanstalk and take the treasure from the giant's castle. Morris, that was a fairy story. Give me the bean. <coughs> Hello there. Is your brother at home? I have a splendid magic banana that he might like to buy. Oh, he might be interested in this magic lettuce. It's very good. Perhaps he'd like to see my potatoes. Tomatoes. Cabbage, cabbage. Courgette. I have been through. Go away! Give me the bean. But Sir Morris secretly plants the bean in the garden and waits for it to grow into a mighty beanstalk. Autumn. Winter. Spring. Boris, come and have a look at this. Do you remember the magic bean I bought? Yes. The one that cost a small fortune and I threw away because it wasn't a magic bean, because magic beans don't exist, and that I hope nobody's secretly planted and been looking after all the winter. I remember it, yes. What about it? Look! It's pathetic. Even for a normal bean. It'll get bigger. It's amazing, sir. It's grown two huge leaves in one night. Whatever it is, Jack Tiny, I don't like it. 
Nothing's been right since it came here. It's only a spot of rain. According to the old stories, the beanstalk will bring good fortune. Ah, nothing like a nice bit of manure. <laughs> When do you plan to climb up to the giant's castle? You see, Samuel Small, just like the old story. And there'll be treasure at the top, will there, Jack Tiny? I'm sure of it. If the story holds true, there'll be... Giants. That's what there'll be if the story holds true, Jack Tiny. Giant giants. <laughs> Well, I'm not afraid of no giants, Dan Titchy. I'm going after the treasure anyways. Yes, get, get the, the treasure, treasure, get, get the, the treasure. There be no giants, there be no giants. Get the treasure, get the treasure. But in the book, there was a giant's castle at the top with treasure. Look, Dan, treasure. <gasps> what, Jack? Giants. <laughs> It's a made-up story. It didn't really happen. I told you we'd find gold. But it was in the book. It was written down in words. Morris, not everything that's written down is true. So what's the point of learning to read, then? Notice, Doris. It ate everything. There's not a crumb of food left anywhere. And what about the beanstalk, eh? That's the cause of all our troubles. Oi, damn right, there's a beanstalk. I see. Cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. Cut it down. I think it chopped itself down. Can beanstalks do that sort of thing? Perhaps it was magic after all. We still have the treasure. This coin will buy food for everyone. Nobody need go hungry. <sighs> ah! Look what I found. It must be my lucky day. I suppose that's the giant's treasure, is it? So this wasn't all a complete waste of time and money and energy. So, Jack Tiny, what do you say about the old stories now? Still believe they're true? Yes. Well, maybe not the bit that goes, and they all lived happily ever after.